Hey guys, what's going on? It's Meshi with Path to Wellness with Meshi. Thank you so much for joining me here in today's video. So as you can tell by the title, today we are going to be creating some eco-friendly gifts that you can start gifting as a stocking stuffer. You can make them, you can use them for yourself if you want, and then you don't have to gift them. You know, that kind of works out. But I wanted to show you a few recipes that are super easy, basic, and they are natural products that you can use. Some of them are going to be for like body care and others are going to be more, actually, I'll just tell you what they are. We're going to making a couple of hydrosols. So they are going to be using essential oils. We're going to make a hand cream. That's sort of a universal hand cream that you can use it for pretty much anything and everything. If you wanted to find out how to create this and just really survive the holiday season with a little bit more eco-friendly products that will really not be toxic and save a pretty penny at the same time, then just stay tuned and let's get started with the video. Between the different obligations that we have at uh, different work functions and also secret Santas, you might find that a lot of the times with giving gifts that are sort of obligatory, it becomes a little bit challenging to sort of figure out what people want. So whether we're looking at, you know, a teacher's gift for your kids, um, you know, elementary school teachers, or if you're looking at a secret Santa or you're looking at a work function where really you may know the person that you're buying for, but you might not really know like truly what makes them tick. Some of these recipes are actually going to serve you because they are so low cost they are very intentional and they are also like they're very universal which means that you can use it for a male and you can also use it for a female as well like you can sort of alternate but a lot of the times i find that whenever i go with gifts that are handmade usually people appreciate them way more because then they see that you took the time to actually sit down and create it out of nothing and a lot of the times it's really unheard of because most times we actually just want to go to the store and pick up a really like cute little gift basket or whatever because especially if they tell you that you know the limit is like $25 and then off you go and if you're looking at like truly what you're getting for like 20 or $25 it's not much you guys and like a lot of times you can actually just look around in your own home and really just use utilize and use the resources that you already have in your disposal and then that way it becomes a more meaningful like you took the time to think about it so that you create the whatever you're going to be giving so in today's video i'm going to be giving you a couple of recipes for uh, seasonal hydrosols hydrosols are basically essential oils that are diluted within water and we're going to be adding a little bit of colloidal silver in there so that it preserves it and I will give you a couple of different recipes. I will also link them down in the description so that you can recreate it at any time. I will also show you how to make just a universal lotion that can be used as a body lotion, as a hand cream. You can use them on your face if you're finding that your, your face gets really dry, you or like whoever you're giving it to. We're talking about gifts here. And I really wanted to talk to you about just intentionality and gift giving because I think that as we're moving into the holiday season, a lot of the times we can just pick up, you know, certain gifts because, you know, they have them pre-wrapped and it's like fully available. But if you think about it, like when you're actually looking at what you're getting for your money, you can create something so much better if you just take the time. Now, at the same token, I don't want you to feel pressured that if you end up buying a gift, then that's somehow not good enough. But I think that there's a difference between intentionality. So I would want you to more pay attention to the intentionality behind the gift and what how you want that person to feel. I think that that's way more important than you creating a recipe just because other people told you to, to create them. So sometimes we don't think about these things we just sort of buy the whatever that's on sale at the current moment without really having to think about you know can i be a bit more intentional about this um how would i want that person to feel when they receive that gift how like what is really truly the intention behind me giving that gift and if you can sort of take yourself out of that equation then i think that you know the, the types of gifts that you give are going to be much different so this is sort of what I wanted to spend the moment to talk to you about because I think that it's just what matters more is actually how like what are you choosing why are you choosing them and 
you know, how will that make that person feel? Because a little, little things usually go a long way. So he decided to join us today. Okay. Show you how we're going to be making a perfume blend that we're going to be using some essential oils from doTERRA. We will also make some hand cream so I will take you down to the kitchen because we're going to be heating up some oils. Okay, you will obviously need essential oils. If you have a little dropper, you, you can use these big ones. So these are great. Um, you will also need, like I have basically, this is about a 10 ml bottle and obviously a roller so that we can kind of close it off. I do have smaller ones and you can actually pick them up. They, they now sell them at doTERRA's website, but then they also have these available at, at health food stores. I've seen them and, and they started selling them at Michael's as well. So they do, have a, uh, they do have them available at a few different places. For oils, I'm using, I have the uh, sweet almond oil. It's organic sweet almond oil. And I also have jojoba oil. It's a little bit old now. Not old, but just I've had it for a little bit. So it kind of went everywhere. So the first little blend, I'm just going to be making it into these little, um, I believe these are quarter dram bottles. The first blend that I'm going to be using is Magnolia. This is their, sorry, I'm not really tilting it over because I already opened it. So I just took the topper off and then I'll use this tiny little dropper because I actually just need about one. So about this, this kind of holds like maybe about two drops or so. Magnolia is also, this is one of the newest ones that came out. And this is already pre-blended. It's just magnolia flour and the fractionated coconut oil. Okay, next we're going to be adding some grapefruit. So again, I'll add about two drops of grapefruit. You can actually just use, if you don't have these things, you can just literally just hold the bottle up and then just allow it to drop. Okay, well that was like four drops. So it just gives you more control if you have the bottles, I find. But I mean, you know, we can go wrong with grapefruit and any citrus because it smells pretty. Next up, I'm going to be adding about two drops of Citrus Bliss. If you have Citrus Bliss, you already know that this is a blend that has a bunch of uh, citrus oils in there. Yeah, you, this is a blend that has grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, clementine, and vanilla. So the vanilla kind of adds that extra little punch. And then I'm also gonna, going to be using rose. Now, rose, it's pretty expensive, so I'm go sparingly with this one. Oh my god. Why didn't I do this sooner? I'm so dumb. You kind of mix it a little bit. And isn't it like super cute? Like I said, this is a smaller version of it, but when you're making it in a larger bottle like this one, use about five drops of each oil whatever you're blending in. And, and then you can also just let people know. Oh, I'm just gonna tap it. Oh my God, you guys, with Magnolia, it smells kind of citrusy. And then you add the citrus, people will love you for this. This smells so beautiful. Where have you been on my life, girl? Okay, next up, I will show you for men, we're going to be adding some cinnamon bark. I will add a little bit of cedar wood. It has cinnamon, clove, cedar wood, patchouli, sandalwood, and pine. I'm going to see if it needs a lot of uh, patchouli or not, because patchouli can kind of, it, if you've been to a health food store, you know that sometimes they go crazy with the patchouli thing. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so in, in our case, I'm going to be making another blend just because this smells so nice. But before we do that, uh, you can pick up, like for labels, I'm going to be using just these little cardstocks and then there is just a little rustic twine that came with it. You can pick these up at any help, like any dollar store. We can create another roller. So let's grab our roller bottle, our larger roller bottle. We're going to be using cedar wood, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, sandalwood, and pine. Now for pine, I'm going to be using uh, 
one of the fur oils that I have. I believe I have Siberian fur and white fur. Perfume, roller bottle. Okay, so let's start with Hawaiian sandalwood. Let's just use it the old fashioned way. Then we're gonna move on to cedarwood. So once you have everybody, oh my God, this is so good. Okay, let's fill this up with uh, some oil. I have filled this up with some jojoba oil and honestly, it smells wonderful. I'm still kind of missing a little bit of the citrus, so I'm going to go ahead and add some grapefruit in there. And then all you do is just take the topper and then all you do is just put the topper on and there you go. Put it in a mason jar like this one and you can mix all the ingredients in here and then you can just transfer it into a glass into like a, a bottle that has a spray topper so the for us to use the scent so i'm going to be using wild orange so i will use five drops and neroli and rose once again Oh my gosh, you should smell this. It's ridiculous. And there you go. Before we get started in uh, with actually creating our, um, our hand cream, I just wanted to show you what you will need. So I have some beeswax. These are about four ounces that I just kind of, like I had like a large, like one pound block and I just melted this down. I'm also going to be using some coconut oil. I personally prefer the extra virgin coconut oil. You'll need some liquid oil, so you can use extra virgin olive oil or you can use grapeseed oil. I actually have some grapeseed oil from New Aromatics or from New Direction. I also have some camellia seed oil. And then for butter, so I have for solid oils, I have the coconut oil and I also have some cocoa butter. We'll need a mixer obviously to like mix everything in. Um, you will need a double boiler, so two pots together. I will show you in a moment. And then we will also need some mason jars. We'll be using, you'll need, a, you'll need a pot and then you'll need another pot. So we're going to be fill this guy up with water and then you put this over it so that the steam and the heat that comes from, from the water can actually start melting our ingredients. So also need a measuring cup. So I brought my larger one and also my smaller one. So I measured out about maybe about half a cup of coconut oil. And then I'm just taking like a block of cocoa butter, which makes it approximately about a cup. So I'm just gonna be adding that in with our beeswax so that it can start melting. And you always want to start with the solid oils first. And there we go. Cocoa butter, beeswax, and our coconut oil just melting down. Depending on what you what ratios you wanted to set up, you can either do more liquid so that you add more of your liquid oils, or you can do more solid where you have more solid oils and it's going to be a little bit more solid. Totally based on preference. I kind of like almost like a 50-50 split. So here I'm just gonna be using up basically all of my camellia seed oil. And as you can tell, like it's kind of nice and see-through. And I also have my grapeseed oil. So that brings us up to about two thirds of a cup. All, this is almost there. Like when you see that almost everything is melted down, this is a perfect time for you to be adding the remainder of your oils. Our oils have completely melted down. So in order for this to become lotion, basically what we have to do is make sure that this cools off because if you start whipping this right now, it's just going to be a hot mess and we really don't want a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the freezer and then we'll be right back. And we are back. Okay, so once we have this out of our freezer, there we go. So you can kind of tell like it's solid, but it's not solid. So that's exactly what we want right now. So I'm just going to take my mixer. You will also need a couple of jars. So I'm just using whatever jars I have on hand, which is also brings me to my side note. Keep your jars, you guys, keep your jars because you will totally need it. So all we do is just move everything here into our mixer. Nice and incorporated. If you're wondering if if it's okay to use your your home 
mixer it's totally fine because these are all edible ingredients like any essential oils or like just whatever you want really and then we can just fill up our jars and then you can use some of this guy too Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure had a ton of fun creating this one for you. Um, if with the hydrosol, like I showed you, you know, like we put this into like a jar like this. And if you have any old essential oil bottles, then you can just use like an old essential oil bottle that's actually empty. And then you can actually get a topper like this. That's kind of, oh, it's like a spray so you can use it that way i just really wanted to show you because i <laughs> clearly i'm spraying myself in the eye so i had a lot of fun with it but if you enjoy videos just like this one where we create some natural products and we're having some fun with it and we're re-gifting it then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i release a new video and in the meanwhile just a quick reminder for you if you're brand new here i post here every tuesday thursday and once on the weekend this may change now that we are moving into december and into the holiday season but don't worry i will be keeping you posted if the schedule changes any way shape or form and to make your life a little bit easier because i talk to you about eco living some natural beauty products and how you can actually manage your stress and your anxiety and your overwhelm especially as we're moving into the holiday season so I wanted to, because I kind of go into a few different topics throughout the week, I wanted to create like a quick little resource for you that you can always fall back onto. So what I have created for you is um, at the end of each week on Sundays, I usually send out a weekly recap email that sort of shows you some of the best takeaways from each of my videos and then also what's coming up for the following week. If you wanted to sign up for that, it's completely complimentary and free and I left the link for that down in the description so you can find it and if you have any questions the question of the day is what are you planning on gifting are you creating your own gifts or are you going to be buying it let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear from you and if you are gifting are you using essential oils are you making your own natural products are you making beauty products what are you making i would love to find out from you i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you again in my next video next up we're probably going to be talking about the new moon so we have some intentions to set so i'll see you again next time bye i feel bad for you in this video only because as I'm making all of these products, the kids are talking the entire time or the dog is eating. But that's okay because you know what? That's what makes it real because we're, we're keeping it real here. We're keeping it gangsta. <laughs> Imagine showing up to a holiday party like this, like, listen, man, I'm a gangsta. I just don't like plastic. Boom. Imagine this is Urban Decay and you shake her and then you like, and then you shower in it. And then once your hair is completely wet and then you drenched your camera, you're having yourself in the day. So this is usually where I sit. There's the background. And then look who else is here. What you doing here? You're never here when I'm filming. Ah, uh, this is when this will come in handy. So I'm going to be using these little droppers. You don't have to. Honestly, these are kind of useless. But I will be using them today. Lord is my witness. I'm going to be using them today. Can you explain yourself? No? You're not going to explain yourself? I know you can hear me. Are you gonna open the door? Yes, you are.